Welcome to the Lost Ball Guide for the brand new DLC pairing of Walkabout Mini Golf and Meow Wolf. This environment is an incredible piece of art, but of course all that extra detail means that the Lost Balls are extra hard to find. So if you find this helpful, please do remember to like the video. Anyway, we'll start with our first ball, which is at hole number one. For the first ball, you might have noticed that behind you is a version or an interpretation of the shack. And of course the shack has a Lost Ball tray and there is our first ball with the Meow Wolf logo. Probably one of my favorites on this course. On to number two, this is a bit harder to find. We need to make our way past the flag and then the other flag and then these three flags. And eventually we come out into the open so you want to turn right and look back on yourself and tucked in this corner down there is the second ball. For our third, out into this colorful opening, there are many, many places this one can be, but what we want to do is follow this line of lily pads on the right hand side. And just as it heads over towards the green, turn back and on this yellow leaf, there is the ball. And this one probably is my favorite on this course. Okay, number four is one of the harder ones to spot. We need to start by making our way down these lily pads until we get to the flag level. Once you reach there at about eye level, maybe just above, underneath that lily pad in the distance is our fourth ball. Number five has lots of places this ball could be hidden inside this thing. Uh, let's just see this new dynamic while we're here. But actually the ball is on the other side. So make your way through and out the other door and down on the right hand side, there it is. Okay, on to number six. Now we have this lower level and then there is the waterfall which takes the ball up. So a water rise, I don't know. Go through the portal and you're up on the top level and then head over the water and just buy these plants on the far side of them. Good camouflage color is the yellow ball. So that's the first third done. We're now on to ball number seven. Over past this creature. Come up with your own name for that one and him. And over by this plant in the corner, just tucked behind it is the seventh ball. For number eight, we need to go through the mouth of this no butt and into this mouth room. I don't know what we'd call it. We have all these little creatures. Take a moment to admire the incredible artwork in here. Give this little fella a tap. So anyway, onwards, there are these two at the very back and the penultimate creature that you encounter just behind its butt is the next ball. For number nine, as we cross the rainbow bridge, heading back inside this nucleus part of Numina, just before we enter in the door, down on the right hand side, sorry, it doesn't quite capture it there, but it is on the floor, is the rainbow ball. For number 10, this one was quite an intuitive place for me to look. Make your way down and about halfway down towards the flag in this opening is the next ball. For number 11, really simple when you know where it is. Looking forwards, just take a step back and under the leaf, there it is. Number 12 in this breakout room, really cool space. The first time I saw this, really impressed by it. And of course, you know the ball is gonna be hard to find in this area. Turn back towards the portal you've come through and down on the floor at the intersection of these lines is a little dot and matching with the ball on this hole, that is a flat ball. On to number 13, and if you've played this hole, you'll know the ball is likely to look a little bit different to the others. So go beyond the flag, quite a generous cup size there. And down here is the huge ball. For number 14, 
spent a lot of time looking in all these crystal type structures inside the room but actually we want to turn back out and just underneath this pad there it is okay on to 15 one of the really cool holes on this course where you simultaneously play on the ground and the ceiling so as you'd expect this ball is somewhere upwards but you need to go past the flag almost towards this next portal and by this plant here just tucked in between the leaves there it is ball number 15. Ball number 16 I really enjoyed this breakout room this little Quixote Valley trip room so anyway it's going to be behind one of the windmills and actually if you turn back from where you start this hole this little windmill here tucked behind it by the fence is the ball. Okay, number 17, our penultimate hole. We have a number of flags here. And over on the right, between this red flag and these yellow flags, we've got these red plants and the ball is just inside one of them. And finally, number 18, we actually want to turn back from this hole. Beautiful finishing hole if you've seen it. Make your way back up this hill and on the left hand side there is our final ball. So some really cool course themes designs for the balls on this one and as ever they're marked off on your scorecard and if you hit main menu that will take you back to the shack and you can see them all come down. Hopefully you've got some new favourites in this collection. Mine are probably the Meow Wolf logo ones that are found in the first few holes. But please let me know in the comments down below if you've got a new favourite from this collection and also any thoughts you've got on the course. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this in the future. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you out on the course.